We've got our data in our database thanks to our simple and extremely ugly submission form and our mongoose schema slash model on the back end. That's great, but it is not great enough. No. We're going to press onward and actually display that data on a page. You'll find that this is quite easy, thanks again to the power and utility of Mongoose. There's a reason why it's the de facto ORM tool for node projects that use MongoDB. Oh, by the way, ORM stands for Object Relation Mapping, which basically means the tool lets you work with nice named API methods instead of just spewing raw data from the DB and expecting you to deal with it. The first thing we need to do is get the data from the database. We're going to handle this in slash routes slash users.js. We already have a get to the user listing, but it's not very useful. So instead of a generic respond with a resource message, let's put together an actual response. Here's the code. As you can see, we're using our model to perform a find operation. Because we've given it zero parameters, it's going to find everything in our users collection in the DB, which is what we want for our list. We'll cover adding parameters in a bit. For now, we need to create that user list view, which doesn't currently exist. So save this file, add a blank file in slash views called userList.ejs, and put this code in it. I'm going to paste the frame from index.ejs. There we go. Save this file, head for localhost port 3000 slash users, and we have a page. We should see the test user we added last week show up in the list, and we're not. I'm going to check that real quick. Once again, I'm running into a Docker issue. I really need to get this fixed. Hang on a second. All right, there we go. We are now displaying data from our database. Let's get back to the tutorial, shall we? We can add a few more users, but let's make the whole loop a little smoother with one simple change. Open up slash routes slash users.js, find this one line, and replace it with this one. Save the file. Head back to the home page. I like to refresh just to be sure. And let's add a fake user. Now every time we save a new user, instead of a generic success message, you'll get immediately sent to the user list page, which should show the new user along with the other ones. Let's try it. Pretty cool. Real quick, let's wire up those links so that clicking a user's name shows a detail page. First, open up slash routes slash users.js, and below the first get, add another one. Save that. We'll need a corresponding user view, so create a new one in slash views called user.egs. Here's the code for it. Save that and we should be all set. Refresh our browser. Click on a name, and we're taken to their detail page. Awesome. Next week, we'll cover deleting a user, and after that, we'll do updating. See you then.